Hello everyone, this is Neronium. Welcome back to Banjo Tooie. Last time we ended up meeting up with the mighty Jiggy Wiggy, opening up our first level Mayahem Temple, and also getting somebody else killed in the process. In this episode, we're gonna head off to our new level, Mayahem Temple. This is a warp pad. Find another one in this world and you'll be able to warp between them. That sounds nice. Now, what does Banjo-Tooie do differently in terms of uh, collectibles? Well, the notes, for one, are now in bundles. You found some notes, boy. Now come and find me. Okay, who are you? So what are notes? Uh, in this game, notes are used to unlock new moves through a new move tutor, so to speak. They are separated into two main categories. <clears throat> hey, get your sorry hide over here and press B. No. You have to find those silos that have a certain member of the mole family there. So, you found another warp pad. Move on to it and press B to warp to any other pad that you have activated in this world. This should be your indication that this world is rather large. Now here's the thing about notes. There's two main ones. There's base. There's the normal amount of notes, which is fives. And then there are the 20 notes, which there should be only one in each world. So that's a jiggy. Where is it? Should be over here, I believe. Now, we're gonna go and get the first power-up first that I want. And you need 30 notes in order to get this one. So, each world has 100 notes, like always. So, keep that in mind. But, first things first. Drill Sergeant Jam Jar is reporting for duty, sir. Banjo. Get a load of this bozo. He looks like bottles in uniform. Of course I look like bottles, you punk. He's my brother. How's the geek keeping up anyhow? Not too good. Recently deceased at the hands of Grunty the Witch. Sorry to hear that. Flea by all? Did he go out fighting? Playing cards, actually. Typical. So you'd be wanting to learn some of my special moves to get even with the witch, huh? Not really. Bottles taught us loads in the last game. Pa. He only knew novice moves. You'll get nowhere without my advanced techniques. Sounds good to us, Jam Jars. Why not teach us a few now? Not that easy, punk. You gotta prove yourself, your sorry selves first by collecting me a few notes. Come back if you can find enough. Hey, wait a minute. I see you've got enough notes for my first lesson. Listen and learn, you punks. Frigo Blaster, here's a move that's a load of fun. Now use Kazooie as a handheld gun. L trigger and R trigger fires eggs both high and low. Targets at hands, temple, in you can go. That'll be all. Dismissed. Uh, fun fact about speedrunning in Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. More so Banjo Tooie in this case. In Banjo Tooie, if you end up getting a rare... So there we go. Nice one, punk. Trouble clefts are worth a mighty 20 notes. Now, one thing you should know is that there is a instance in which Jam Jars will hit his head on the silo when he goes in. That is the bane of speedrunners everywhere because it's a random chance that that'll happen. But let's get a very useful power up here. A game. What you need is an aiming sight. Hit the target, then you might. First person view by pressing Y. Hit left trigger, R trigger to fire with accuracy. That'll be all. Dismissed. Okay, so we need one more move in this world. And it should be down over this way, actually. I think it's down here. It could be elsewhere. 
So you might notice there is a honeycomb piece there, but we can't get it. Well, no worries, we got more stuff to do. I gotta find that other jam jars uh, one, because it is a very useful one. Now, what happens if we go over this way? Hey, look, there's a Jinjo. So what is this? You've collected a skill stop honeycomb. Press X to stop your energy bar as close to the top as possible. Fun fact. You can lose health in those. <laughs> I hate those things. Stop right there. What do you want? We want to go in there as it sounds cool. Of course it's cool. Everyone wants to see the stony kickball games. Stand aside then, Bozo. We'll miss the action. Bozo, I'm Officer Ung Ungo Paz, and there ain't no tickets left. They sold out while you were playing Banjo-Kazooie. We don't want to watch. We're here to kick butt and win. Nice try, but I'm afraid you can't. The games are only open to stonies. Oh, go on, please? Nope. How about a bribe? How dare you? This is a respectable organization. Get lost, both of you. Sadness. What is this? This mumbo pad. Mumbo stand on it to perform great magic. And this? This is an information sign post. Press B1 next to it to read it. The mighty shiny one sleeps until his services are required once again. Well, can I get his services? That sounds like it'd be a great thing to have. The best part about uh, jam jars is the silos will be green if you've already gotten it. So that's always good. Now what's over here? Well, whatever it is, it looks like it needs eggs. Right, and... Dang it. I hate the targeting in this game when you have to be precise. Okay, am I? Am I just... Pain. Right, and... Eggy. I said Eggy. Eggy! There we go. We have opened the door. As you can see, there's a Cheeto page up there. There's generally two Cheeto pages in each stage. Treasure chamber. What's up with you? It's terrible. I can't find Tarya Zatan's favorite priceless relic thingy. I might have been stolen. Tough luck. We don't care. Help Chief Blow Zatan find it and I'll reward you with a Jiggy. A jiggy? Well, in that case... Great, I'll open the other door for you, but please hurry. So, that's a honeycomb piece. This is an extra honeycomb piece. Thank you. I know. Should be a Jinjo in here too, I believe. So for right now, we'll leave because I just wanted the honeycomb piece for right now. We need a power up in order to be able to go further in Mayahem Temple. And we're gonna get that power up right now once we end up dealing with 
Mumbo. And what's this? You've caught a Globo. They're supposed to have magical powers. Is there a way I can make the text go faster? And effect music volume, restore to default settings, flip, flip Y axis. I might actually do that. Now, what do we do with a Globo? Well, let's talk to the signpost. Use the giant shiny one to open the huge stone doors. Sounds good. Yo, Mumbo. Nice new, ma nice new house, man. A lot bigger. Ah, Baron Bird here at last. Mumbo best shaman in games, so built new skull. Mumbo also wants to help, but a magic creature must find. We've got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yes. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. And now for the first in the series. Ah, Mumbo get to be hero at last. Press X to see mighty shaman Zapstick. Return me to my chair when want to be Baron Bird again. I have a taser. So, yep, we can be Mumbo in this game. And he can actually use these warp pads too. So, world entry and exit. Now we have the giant shiny one here. Yeah. So what is the context sensitive one? Press B to see mighty mumbo magic. Hope this works. I love the ikambokums. Yes, we will be hearing that every single time in this game. Mumbo magic make golden Goliath rise. Magic only lasts short time. To control me again, return statue to its base and press B. So we have 75 seconds. That's more than enough time. Kick. Kick. So, let's go down to the other door. Let's also kick that stone. I think I can kick this stone. It might be something I need to wait for another power-up for. Yeah, I can. Kick. No, I don't want that stone. Stupid honeycomb. Kick. Really? Wow. All right, so uh, I can get into with the... Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Mumbo magic run out. Yeah, Mumbo's magic might have run out, but that's fine because we got some stuff here. Like this flight pad now. But more importantly, did you see that white Jinjo? So there's different colored Jinjos in this game. If I remember correctly, um... There is only one white Jinjo, and I believe there, are, and that is the least amount. And if I remember correctly, uh, that, here's, here's the thing about the Jinjos. They are randomized every time you play this game. Each time you complete a Jinjo family, you will end up getting a Jiggy for your troubles. So if that is the real 
white Jinjo, then I will already have completed the white Jinjo family. Which is very lucky. That being said, it's not the only thing that it could be. It could also be what is known as a Minjo, which are evil Jinjos and are fakes. Minjos will attack you. You'll know that it's them because they will end up doing like a little growl and then they'll start chasing after you. Not every Jinjo you see is a real one. Some of them are Minjos, but I think that one is the actual white Jinjo. So talk about lucky. So, now for the best power-up in the game. Crip Grab, listen up to what you're holding and hold on ledges you can now hold. Move along with greatest of ease, button X to attack as you please. That'll be all. Dismissed. All right, let's see. Yep. Yippee, you saved me. I'm of to home now. And there we go. That was the real white Jinjo. So if anyone was holding on to which would be the first Jinjo family we complete, if you chose white, then you're correct. Thanks for rescuing me. I will give you my life savings. All the other Jinjo houses in the village are empty, but should have families in each one. Rescue all the members of a family and they'll probably reward you. So yeah, the white Jinjo is actually the rarest Jinjo of them all. The black Jinjo is the second rarest of the Jinjos. So that is uh, really convenient that that was the white Jinjo. The, like, you, my face when I saw that that was the white Jinjo, I was like, oh my goodness. Also, I just remembered there's uh, more than two pages in a world, I believe. I think there's three, actually. Now to get this annoying one. Thought you'd steal Slumber's gold while he slept, did you? Well, yes, to be honest. But I heard you coming, clumsy bear. Oh. I was trying to... Splendid. They seem to have gone. Must get some more sleep. So how do we do this? Tip to... I did it too hard. I was supposed to tiptoe. I hate getting slumber's gold. What? Dang it. Fine, Slumber. I'll play it legitimately. Dang it. You have to really crawl on this one. That's why I hate it. Take that, Slumber. Now what happens when Slumber wakes up? Oh, he doesn't wake up anymore. Okay. So let's go and get that Cheeto page that's right here. All right, that kills you. Kills you. Doot, 
All right, now on to the next thing. No, I don't want that honeycomb. And there's another Globo and a new sort of place. It's a wigwam. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out more Banjo-Kazooie action, check out the top link for a playthrough of Banjo-Kazooie for the Xbox Live Arcade. And if you want to see another game that was exclusive to the 360 back in the day, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of Fable 2.